Darren Sullivan, he's always on his phone. He's always tweeting about T or Man United. He seems to take pride out of being uh, on second captain's boring tweets, so Darren. Austin Gleeson, I, you know, I don't think, uh, I think the first, even into a dressing room, the first things he looks for is a socket, you know, I think he has to buy a new phone, the battery's life, and probably all the, the women on Snapchat and things like that onto him, but, uh, you know, he just can't seem to get enough of it. Cal McShane, definitely, he's never off his phone, I think he's Snapchatting his girlfriend, as he refers to her as Bay. Um, 24-7, I think his battery's like, con he's constantly has the charger plug plugged in. Killian Buckley, he seems to be on, on every bit of social media going and he's uh, he's always putting up pictures of himself on Snapchat and Instagram and stuff and he's a bit of a poser on the team and he gets a bit of slagging for it. Owen Kern is he, he's new on the panel and he never leaves the phone out of sight. We, we have a strict phone ban when he's around because you never know what he's going to come out with with his phone. He'll always take pictures of Snapchat or something. He's always on something, Instagram. It's all about the likes. Everything's about the likes. Carl Barrett would be always on his phone whether he's texting or Snapchatting or on Instagram, whatever he's at, so um, he'd be one that's always on his phone. Surprisingly, actually, the mobile phone addict is, is David Clark. He takes selfies quite regularly. He's addicted to selfies on his phone, which is, which is odd because he doesn't really use social media, so I, nobody knows where these selfies go. Probably Conor, Conor Whelan or Joe Kenny, always on the phone, never off it, always on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, probably me actually, I'm just constantly, it's never out of my hand, so it's bad, like, but it's just the way it's going. James Lockery is quietly protective of his phone, he tends to have it uh, everywhere with him, uh, even though he doesn't necessarily interact that much with people on the phone when you ring him. We have a couple of them now, but I think uh, John Egan might just uh, be the, the top one there, he's always on social media, so he's...